Hello everyone, this is a quick look at the LEGO Creator 3-in-1 Adorable Dog Set, but it's 3-in-1 in a different way than usual because all of this counts as one. This is the main build. I will be doing separate videos to cover the other uh, official builds, which give you two dogs each. So it's all of this at one time, or it's those two at one time, or it's those two at one time with a bunch of pieces left over. This set comes with 475 pieces, and I did build it live over on Twitch. It cost me $30 US, and if you hit view products on the video, you'll see it pop up some places where you can purchase it. Let me go ahead and look at these individually, one dog at a time, and then look at the accessories on the side. Now, it's super obvious that these are designed to be cartoony. They're caricatures. They're not trying to be realistic, but I thought it would be important to call that out to make sure that we don't get into complaining about the fact that these are not realistic because they're, they're not trying to be realistic. You know, it's it's a toyish look. It's a, it's a comic look. And I think, I think that they did a pretty good job or the designer did a pretty good job with these of, of capturing some of the, some of the essences of the dogs while keeping them, keeping them fun, you know, keeping them definitely very, very Lego based and very, I guess cartoony is really the, the best word with these big old eyes, you know, on a, on a vertical surface, attached to a vertical surface. This one's supposed to represent a, uh, a yellow lab. And as far as articulation is concerned, I get similar things between a few of them with the ears able, to flop, you can rotate the eyes by pulling it off and just rotating it to a different place so that the, the you know, it looks like they're looking in a different direction. You got a ball joint for the neck, so it's able to go up and down a little bit. It's a little bit limited right now by the collar, but the collar is a cool thing with the name tag on there as well. The legs just go forward and backward, but they do give you some options for making it look like it's moving a little bit more with a, with a purpose or just having it stand you know, just pretty much straight up and down. Um, you got a little bit of articulation at the ankles, but it's all just on one axis there. Same thing with the tail. Tail goes goes up or goes down only, that's it. A little bit of suggestion of fur here, you know, a little bit of the, the, the razzle around the edges. And this one is just barely able to kind of get into, let's see if I can get those, those toes. Now I can't really get those toes to quite quite touch the ground there. So see, I was trying to get it into a, a believable, acceptable sitting pose and it doesn't quite get there. Not this one. It's a good, it's a good attempt, but not quite. The Beagle ironically does a much better job of sitting. This one does also still have a collar with the same type of build. And overall the articulation here is mostly the same, except this one does have one additional little, little joint in the tail there. The, the colors, are just right, I think, on this one. About as good as they could be for a Lego thing. Got the shorter and rounder snout on this one. Nothing can be done with the mouth. The mouth can't be opened or anything, but it's just open with the, the tongue sticking out. Once again, exact same eyes are used for this and they can be posed in the same way. Blocky, but again, just so much of this with the colors and, and the color blocking screams exactly what it's supposed to be. So in a way, it's more realistic than it needs to be. You can clearly, clearly see what it's based on. And I think that's a success. You can also do this if you want to show it, uh, you know, running, running happily midair. Most of the time, obviously their ears are going to be down like that. But yeah, you know, it's nice to be able to put this one into the, the sitting pose. And can I do something like that? Make it more like a pointer? Yeah. There we, oh, wait, it's going to be doing the pointer thing. It would have to be like, more like that. <laughs> That's inappropriate for the, no, I think I've seen them doing this a little bit. Not for very long though. Yeah, this is cool. This is probably my favorite of the three. Last but not least, the poodle who has the the standard style of, of hair trimming job done on it with the big tuft up here and the tuft at the tip of the tail and everything. And they leave all the studs here. They, they don't only, the designer did not only leave studs, the designer actually placed studs intentionally to represent the, the fuzzy hair. So all open studs and hollow studs that have something behind them to try to get a little bit of consistency there. And then this one has a jacket on as well, a little a little something around the around the base of the the, the knob of hair that they leave on the the tail. And also this one has another collar. Once again, 
very similar articulation. Let's see if I can get this one to sit. I've actually not tried to get this one to sit. Oh, oh, that's respectable. Yes, I can. Yeah, I can accept that. It's it's a little bit awkward with how long the rear legs are, but I think this counts. I think it gets credit for that. Otherwise, you can see that the articulation is the same with the the, uh, the joints in the same place and all the same type. You can just do that. And again, you can turn the eyes around if you want. Nothing can be done with the mouth. And this is just how this one is done. Not bad. Not bad at all. Again, definitely tells you what it's supposed to be, even though it's going for that cartoony style. With those three dogs built, you also are able to build all of these accessories. You got the retractable leash. It's not actually retractable here in, in Lego form, but it does a good job of, of representing what it's supposed to be. You've got a bunny toy here, which is just a, a high durability plush for the dogs to play around with. Uh, none of these dogs can really hold on to these toys though, as they are. You need a little bit of customization, at least take some pieces off from some of them. It's funny, you can do a little bit of art, extra articulation with this. And it also includes some joints that might be, no, actually, I don't know. I don't know if these, maybe these in here are gonna be used, but most of the blue does not get used with the other dog belts. This is just a brush, right? A ball, got a, rubber bone thing and then obviously a bowl that can be used for water or in this case kibble food last but not least these are the leftover pieces when you do the main build or builds including the two extra small printed parts again the price was 30 dollars us it's 30 euros as the base eurozone price and 25 pounds uk i feel like that's a pretty good value for this amount of stuff because honestly, if just one of these was sold as its own thing with some accessories and maybe like a minifigure, it would probably be $20. Honestly, just for that, for that amount of, of stuff to, today in the city line or maybe in one of the more popular uh, uh, license lines, I think. And yeah, each of these builds honestly is, is simple and goes together pretty quickly, but all together. This body of work here, I think is good. I'm not looking forward to taking these all apart, undoing all that work and then just redoing it. However, I am definitely looking forward to having another of these. And then after that, sorry, <laughs> turned off autofocus for a second, but one of these pairs and then the other pair, because I have heard, heard through the, through the grapevine that one of those, one of those alternate build options may even be better than all of this here put together. So that'll be interesting to see one way or another. Thank you for watching. So far, so good on this, you know? I'm happy with this. I feel like you get a good deal. We'll see how much even better of a deal you get, how, how much bonus we get out of this with the alternate builds in separate videos coming up. Bye for now.